the Detroit Lions, yes, this is not a drill, won a football game. I mean, I mean, oh my. like, uh, I, I, I have a loss for words right now. If you're a Vikings fan, or if you have a friend who's a Vikings fan, you might be on life support right now. You may be uh, rethinking your decision to support that organization. Why does Mike Zimmer have a job? I have no idea. Um, I think Mike Zimmer should pick up like a Chuck E. Cheese application, if I'm being honest, because he has been, his coaching decisions have been extremely, extremely questionable. Your game plan might be to not give up the big play, but then you're going to, you know, they're marching down the field. Little plays by little plays, they're going to get down the field. And that's why you lost to the 0 and 10, well, now 1 and 10 and 1 Detroit Lions. Minnesota Vikings, that, that is that is that is such a bozo move by you guys. I am so sorry. I think you guys should just cancel your season. That was abysmal. That was abysmal. But as a Packers fan, I enjoyed that. I'm not gonna lie. Seeing Dan Campbell and Jared Goff hugging each other, that was everything. I'm gonna get to that in a bit. Jared Goff is not a bad quarterback. What? what? But all he has to throw to is TJ Hawkinson, which, by the way, TJ Hawkinson is not doing good. I have him f for fantasy. He drops five points a game. 14 if I get lucky. He had no DeAndre Swift. Amon Ross St. Brown is definitely stepping up. Uh, Jared Goff, I think he's a top top 25 quote. Mm, I think he's better than Big Ben, at least. If you put Jared Goff on the Steelers, the Steelers are making the playoffs. There you go. I said it. I said it right there. And...